There's another Smock mag out, it's the Smock Mag V8. It's a semi-mech mod, and it's time to review it. Let's do this. Hi guys, I'm Hyde from Venom, and today we're reviewing the Smock Mag V8. It's a semi-mech mod, as I stated before. It comes with the TFV Mini tank, also known as the TFV8. V2. Oh. Now, just in case you need to the first two times, I'm going to tell you again, it's a semi-mech mod. I'm telling you again, because on the packaging, it doesn't say anywhere that it's a mech mod. And I'm not going to lie, when I bought it, I bought it thinking it was similar to the other mag mods, but it's not. Like I said, it is a semi-mech mod. So for those of you who don't know what a mech mod is, I'll explain it to you. Because I've never really reviewed a mech mod, and I don't think I've ever reviewed a semi-mech before. But it's quite simple. The normal type of device you use is a regular mod. It's a bit like this one. It changes, it's got a screen on it that tells you what power settings it's using. You can change the power settings, all that in the wild kit. Now, I forgot to bring my mech mod with me. But I've got three or four mech mods. And they run on a basic principle of, it's generally a tube, and you push the button up, that presses to the uh, sort of coil, puts it all as much power as it can into that coil. Now, the big difference is, like I said, the mech is just a tube. There's no protection, there's no circuit board, there's no nothing. So there's quite a few bit of dangers, like for example, if you use a coil that's too low resistance, it can overcharge the battery, kaboom. If you use... The battery it won't use it too much it'll deplete the battery as you use a mech mod when you first start using it you get more flavor more vapor more power as the day goes on it'll lessen with a mech mod it doesn't have battery protection either so your batteries can get to a point of being too low where they just won't charge because they're too low now we've got to the basics of uh, mech mods and regulator mods we'll have a look at a semi mech mod now the difference here is it has got a circuit board and this one's even got a light. Now the circuit board adds protection like battery protection so you can't overuse it and deplete your batteries. It has a max wattage protection to stop it from overusing the batteries. Max use for this one is 70 watts. Um, and all the other protections that a mech mod doesn't have, this does have. But the thing that makes it a mech mod or semi mech mod is the fact that the wattage goes straight up i'll try again the voltage goes straight up into the coil you don't have any control over it however like i said it will restrict um depending on the resistance and the battery power it will restrict it to 70 watts to stop it from shorting out the battery or we're doing the battery kaboom so you are protected you're not going to go through batteries or it's not going to blow up in your hand um, and there you go. Some of it is annoying me a little bit, like I said, it comes with a tank. Now, rule number one that people don't usually know when they first start using mix is you can't actually use a normal stock tank with it. I'll change that. You can, but it's suggested that you don't. Purely because, if you've ever noticed, these sorts of coils change quite a lot in resistance and stuff, so it's best to use an RDA where you've built the coil, you can trust the coil, and you know everything's going to be alright. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I'm not a massive fan of companies that try to ring things out. For example, Smock, I've got a Smock Node. They've brought that out in about six different styles now, just to try and live on the legacy of that device. And for example, the Node, like I said, has got 36 styles, and it only came out with like 7, 8, 9, maybe 10 new styles, and they've added more and more and more to keep you buying. Not a fan of that. When we brought out the original Smock mag, it was very popular. Since then, we've brought out tons more mags. So we've got the Baby, the Mag Grip, the Mag P3, and the Mag 225. And this is the latest in that range. So I'm not going to talk about how cool it is that it's shaped like the man of the gun and the bullet because it, we, we all know, we've all been there, 
it's just the same old selling point as before. And another thing on that selling point is here you'll see a button, press it, and the magazine falls out for all your batteries. Now while I'm on this point, I will also point out it's got a battery extender. That's right. I'm using the 18650s, but if you put the 18650 in, it's a bit loose and don't fit. That's because it's designed for 2700s or 21700s. But because smart and all the 18650s are the most popular, you've got a little adapter that fits straight in. Bang. Press it five times to turn it on. And you're on with it. Um, and that's another little thing that really, really uh, pissed me off, for lack of a better word. This little instruction booklet, manual, it does state that it is a manual. I can't remember where it says that, but it does all the uh, box contents. But we've got one, two, three, four, five pages. Right. Tells you how to fill the tank, tells you how to turn it on, and blah blah blah. It doesn't actually tell you what the LED indicators mean. There's no battery warnings or like that, but there's a few little things. So we'll run through with you. Firing it without an atomizer, it's going to flash about four or five times. If you count with that, that's how many times it'll be. That means no atomizer. For good. <clears throat> now, if you put a dead battery in, or the battery's too low, and I think under too low for smart comes at below 3 volts. Can't be quite sure because the manual won't tell you. Even though it does say for the more improved, longer manual, go to Smock Tech website. No, I couldn't find it. So I think it's 3 volts uh, I've read somewhere. If it goes below that, you're going to get about 15, 20 flashes. And that tells you that the battery's kaput, get it on charge. And it does charge by the mod the annoying micro USB rather than the USB C. So I have the um, I'm reading somewhere online because I really don't know where I feel about this quite yet. There's only one factor that made up my mind. So going back to what I was saying, I'm reading online, and whoever's review I'm reading said it's good for beginners. No, I completely disagree. If you're a beginner, you want uh, something like a smart node, a really simple pod system, get you started. If you're looking for bigger clouds, there is plenty of better kits out there. You want a fully regulated device that you can control and find what's right for you. Using one of these, you've got no control of what happens regardless, other than putting your coils in. It's a bit too technical. Just get a mod where you can change your wattage, sort it, then move on to things like this. It's not because it's hard or complicated, it's not because it's safe, it's just not beginner friendly in my eyes, so I'm sorry, you just didn't. Now let's move on from this boring mod, same old, same old. Like I said, it's got the TFV2 tank, which I've read online is the TFV8 V2 mini tank, some of the lines. I don't know if that's true or not. But because the kit's called V8, I presume it is. <sighs> don't know what to say. Now, I don't really be able to get the, I don't feel on this that you can get the full experience, especially with an 18650 battery. Uh, I've only used the single coil. Yes, I did just check. And that runs recommended, I think it's 60 to 70, goes up to 80 uh, in the specs. And the flavor's alright, the flavor's there. And so is the uh, vapor, as you can see. But I don't think you can properly test it on something like this. When I test the tank, I like to go through water ranges, yada yada. So let's put it on my other smock mod and we'll see. So like I said, it runs between 40 and 80, recommended at 60 to 70. So we'll try it at 60 and see what we can get. Decent flavor, not much cloud. 
Man made it. Seventy. But decent for the better cloud. Now I'm going to date it. Really decent cloud, really decent flavor. Bravo to Smok. But something that I found quite often with Smok is that the coil, it, something that didn't used to happen but started to happen a bit more. I mentioned this on my last review, I think it was the TF16, whatever it was that came with the GPU 3. And that the coil quality built, coil quality went down. And I think it's the same with this. On the TFV16, it worked beautifully. But on this, it's still back in the day. It's not as good as Smock used to be. Um, and to emphasize that, I tried it at 80 watts for 10, 15 minutes. That's a lie, because after two or three minutes, the, the flavor had gone, it was starting to get a little bit dry weren't the best experience. So then I realized that although it's best at, at recommended at that, it's actually best at 70 watts. And still, the flavor and the vapor, the smoothness, couldn't really keep up with my style of vaping, which is a bit guttering. So I don't know, if, if you're not an hardcore vapor, but you want some clouds, nice tank. If you want more from your tank, then probably not. Go for TFE 16, that's good. By the way, the tank is two mil, comes with a bottle of grass to make five. Mill. So all in all, what do I think? <clears throat> I'm not a fan. I don't really see the point in selling necks. Um, unless you're someone that wants to use a neck, but you want to ease your way in. Fair enough. Uh, I don't think it'll teach you a great deal. It'll offer the experience without the danger, fair enough. But most mods come with a bypass mode, which is essentially the same. So what's the point? I don't see the point. But I can tell you this, and this is a thing that switched me from thinking, eh, I don't like it, to it's pretty decent. This little beast sells online for around 15 to 25 pound for the entire kit, excluding the battery. With that, you also get another coil, A charger and your spare hose. So you're going, all right, well, that's pretty decent. Well, if that's what you're thinking, then think straight on because the tank alone online is selling for around 15 to 20 quid as well. So if you get the the entire kit for 15 to 20 quid, you're getting a free tank. I mean, if you're going to buy the tank, you may as well get the mod for free as well. So I think it's ideal, uh, especially when you involve the price. Without the price, it's pointless to buy it. With the price, but let me know what you think, guys, down below. If uh, mech mods are your thing, like I said, I own three or four. I do like using mech mod, but at the same point, I also like to hit a lot higher wattage than I would be able to with lower coil builds. Um, so I do like my, especially free battery mods, my thing. But let me know if you like mech mods or semi mechs, let me know down in the description. <laughs> So I can't really show you on my phone because I'm using my phone. Uh, many different reasons, but I can see it's been my phone, so it makes it a little bit easier to film. But there you go. Michelle York, you've won last week's giveaway, which was a thing. Well, last week's giveaway. The Gem Axis, I remember now. Congratulations, Michelle. Get in touch and we'll send you out some freebies. But I'm not sending them till after lockdown, but messaging me now anyway, um, and then I'll contact you after the lockdown. Or you can message me again after lockdown, whatever goes. If you want a chance to win this little beast in this box, you know what you got to do. Subscribe, scroll down to the comment boxes. Comment, tell me how great I am, and whether you use a mesh mod or a mech mod, whatever you comment, you'll be entered, so chill. Uh, don't forget to share my video, guys, please. Uh, if you've watched it this way through, this far through, thank you. I appreciate you and I love you. 
Um, but you know, that's it. It's that's the end of my review, really. Congratulations, Michelle. Uh, if you want to win, comment and subscribe. Please share. Let me know your opinions on the Smock Mag V8. Other than that, all you need to do is stay cloudy. <clears throat> oh no, you need to stay healthy as well. Stay at home, stay healthy. Simple. Don't forget, stay cloudy!